Hello and welcome to your questions answered with Father Gruner. I'm John Veneri. In this program, we take the questions that you email to us and Father Gruner answers them. We have discussions about them and continue to send them to us, please, at questions at thefatimacenter.com. Today we have scapular questions. Um, I'll read them all and then Father Gruner can deal with them one by one. Uh, do we have to enroll to wear the scapular or can we just wear it? And do we have to wear it around our neck or can we simply keep it in our pocket? So I'm sure that most of our viewers must know what a scapular is, but I just like to point out this is a scapular. It's uh, made of cloth, brown cloth usually. It's joined by two, str two, two strings, one string in the front and one in the back, but, and it's worn over the shoulders. This is the way it's normally worn. It's worn over the shoulders, one part in the front and one part in the back. So now, why is this, why do I describe this? Well, the scapular goes back to the time of Elias in the Old Testament, and Elias, uh, the scapular is really an abbreviated mantle. So you read about St. Uh, Elias' mantle. He would take his mantle off occasionally. He touched the River Jordan, and the River Jordan stopped flowing, so he could walk across without getting his feet wet. Uh, when Eliseus, his succeeding prophet, uh, asked him for his prophetic, um, prophetic gift, Elias said to him, well, if, if I leave behind my mantle, pick it up and you know you'll have my prophetic gift. So when the fiery chariot took Elias away to heaven, he left behind his mantle and Eliseus picked it up and put it on. So the mantle is a garment which is about 10 inches wide. It's worn over the, it goes down to the knees in the front and the back. It's about 10 inches wide. And so this is just an abbreviated form of the mantle. And I can give the whole story of it, but why, because the question asks about should we wear it around the neck? Well, yes, the idea of wearing it around the neck is that it's an abbreviated form of the mantle. The mantle is worn over the shoulder, a hole in the middle. For the, so it's, this symbolizes wearing the mantle of Elias, okay? And also it symbolizes wearing the mantle of the Blessed Virgin. And in fact, the symbolism is that by wearing them, you are carried under the mantle of Our Lady by mm -hmm. wearing, putting the mantle or the scapular over your shoulders. And you're you're saying to her by this gesture that I'm entrusting myself to you. I am trusting in your promises to me that you will see to it that I will be protected in danger. She said, receive this scapular. It should be a sign of salvation, a protection in danger, and a pledge of peace. Whosoever dies wearing the scapular shall not suffer eternal fire. So that is the promise, but it's wearing it means putting it over your shoulders. One part mm -hmm. of it. Now, mm -hmm. If you won't put it over your shoulders and you put it in your pocket, it's better than not having it at all. I'm not going to tell you not to carry it in your pocket, but certainly the proper way to, to yeah. carry it is over. And, and the same promise is not attached, and the same devotion yeah. is, yeah. Not, is yeah. not there. Yes, but so to answer the questions then, when we get back to this thing which is said, um, can we just wear it? Yes, you can certainly just wear it. And, but the question then is, uh, is the promise for those who w wear it or those who are enrolled in it? And according to the... the, the traditional view was that unless you were enrolled in the scapular, you didn't get all the promises for, for wearing the scapular. Mm -hmm. So the enrollment of the scapular is simply because the scapular is, is part of a religious garment, and the religious garment is you, be, you become a member of the confraternity of, this, of the Carmelite order by being enrolled in the Carmelite order. So it doesn't matter if you if you're belong to another religious order, you can be enrolled in the Carmelite confraternity, but without being enrolled, you're not enrolled, you're not part. And so the promises are for those who are enrolled in the scapular. So now, um, the, um, so you should be enrolled, but until you're enrolled, by all means, wear it. Yes. Uh, and uh, and, and when you, a, any priest can enroll you, and if they don't have the, if they don't know the prayer, certainly in the Roman ritual, it, also we can send it to them. Or it's we can, very uh, simple and short yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, ritual. It takes about 30 seconds to, yes, to, to yes. say the prayer. I've enrolled, I'm sure, close to a million people in the, in the scapular over my 30, 38 years as a priest. So um, now, what was the other question here? Uh, I think I've answered all yeah, the questions. Yeah, yes, yes, that was it. That do we, do we have to, sh should we be enrolled and also um, wear it around the neck? So yeah, so. Uh, I would encourage them to get our little book that we happen to send it to them for free if they just ask for it. And what's on, the, what's on, the, on the name of the booklet? The, the, the um, garment, is it the garment of grace or the, the scapular promise? The, the scapular garment, I'm not The correct. garment of grace, I think it is, yes. I, I hope so, anyway. I don't well, remember. Well, well, we have actually several books. This one has been discontinued, but, but anyway, it talks about, it's a book that talks about the miracles of the scapular, and it talks about the Sabbath sca sca privilege, it talks about the symbolism of it, even a bit of the history of St. Elias and so forth, and Our Lady's promises. It's all there in this little booklet. Happy to give it to them. Okay. Well, thank you, Father. And uh, that's all for this program, and we will see you on the next broadcast.